when you get your mind with the breath, you want to be able to protect it, keep it there. It means protecting it from things outside and from things inside. That's what the principle of restraint is all about. You have to be very selective in what you choose to look at and why you choose to look at it. The same with what you listen to, what you taste, what you touch. Some things can set the mind on fire very easily, pull you away from your concentration. And particularly at the way you look at things, the way you listen. You can, some people can look at something and their minds are perfectly unaffected. Others look at it and they're immediately overcome with lust, aversion, jealousy, whatever. So you have to look and see where your weak points are. Because when we look, it's not a lot of times it's not that we're just innocently gazing our eyes around things. We're directing our eyes or directing our ears and the rest of our senses for some purpose. And you have to ask yourself what the purpose is, because if it's not a skillful purpose, it's going to destroy the state of your mind. So you have to look at what's causing you to look and what the results of the looking are. And the same with the listening and all your other senses, with your thinking. And show some restraint. Our culture is one that encourages us to forget about restraint, just go for it, whatever. But they're not there to pick up the pieces of your life. <coughs> You're the one who has to pick up the pieces, so make sure your mind doesn't get shattered into pieces. Try to keep it whole. Try to keep it integral. Because your well-being is at stake. Because what else do you have besides the state of your mind that you can really depend on? And if you can't depend on that, where? Where will, we, where will you go? You really need to focus on gaining this state of concentration and protecting it as best you can. While you're here sitting with your eyes closed, and even more so when you're out in the rest of the world. Some things are designed to pull you in. And if your level of resistance is low, you're going to get pulled in even before you realize it. So have to make sure your resistance is high. There are germs out there. Make sure you don't pick them up. In a lot of cases, it's the germs are the ones that you go looking for. It's like websites that have viruses all over them. You have to go into the website in order to get the virus. And it's the same thing here. There are a lot of things in life that have a big impact on you because you decide you want to go into them to begin with. And that's how you pick up these viruses, the viruses of greed, aversion, and delusion. If you don't go there, because the viruses may be there, but you don't pick them up, and that way you're looking after yourself, and then you don't have to spread it around to other people too. That's how you protect the state of your mind. <coughs>